Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying perimeter. And perimeter means the walk around measure. You basically, you can imagine walking around a shape and then figuring out the distance that you would walk. It comes from the Greek word perimetros, meaning around, measure. Let me show you, for example, with this funny shape here. Let's say we imagine walking around it like that. And in my picture here, I need to measure it in units. One unit would be from here to here. That's my one unit, okay? So this from here to here is one unit. And then from here to down here is another unit. And then also here's one unit, another unit, okay? And so on. Now some children make the mistake that they count these lines, like one, two, three, four, five little lines for the measure here. But actually you need to count it in units. From here to here is one unit. So you get one, two, three, four units for that side. Okay, are we ready? We're gonna go on a trip around this funny shape, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So for this figure, the perimeter P equals fourteen units. Is that messy? Oh, he wants to go around the figure too. Not that one, Matthew, but maybe the next one or one of these others, okay? Let's do the same here. Or maybe you want to try it on your own. Can you figure out the perimeter? Again, it will be so many units. Um, well, we can try. I don't know. Can you, Matthew, do that? Starting here. Okay, go around. One, two, three, four. And then... Yeah, I don't think our viewers can see it, Matthew. You might have fun, but let me do it with my finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so the perimeter equals sixteen units. How about here? I have a rectangle. This time we don't need to count the units one by one because we're told that this side would be six units long and this side would be three units long. So if Matthew goes around, six units, three units, then he goes around here and that is how much? Six units, right? And this side, three units. So we add six and three is nine, then six and three is another nine. Nine and nine, eighteen. So we get eighteen units. With these two shapes, we're going to find the perimeter by measuring. I'm going to measure this one in centimeters and this one in inches, okay? And so the first one, I'm going to put my centimeter ruler here. And can you see it is 2 centimeters past 10? So that makes 12 centimeters, right? Let's write it here. And then this other side. Okay, looks to me that it's 30 centimeters, right? I don't need to measure this or this because this side is 30, just like that, and this side is 12. So now we just add, when you're going around, you need to add all four sides, the side lengths. So 12 and 30 is 42. And then these two also make 42 centimeters. So 42 and 42, 84. The perimeter is 84 centimeters. Oh, Matthew wants to measure? Okay, I'll let you try. Come on, come on, buddy. That looks a little difficult. The worst thing is that our viewers probably can't see it. Okay, so Matthew, I think it's better I do it. I know you might have fun with it, but let me try. You messed up my shape, too. Now we do it in inches. Okay, can you see? Five inches. And this side. Okay, it's exactly like this big one. But it means, see, 10, 11, 12. 
12 inches. The one means one foot because 12 inches makes one foot. So we have 12 inches here. And then the last side. Okay, it is one inch past that big one. So we have 11, 12, 13 inches. And now just add to find the perimeter. 13 and 12 is 25 plus 5, 30. So we get perimeter equals 30 inches.